There he is now, anyway. <laughs> He's great, isn't he? He is all right. Uh, does he have a name? No, I don't think so. Uh, the woman in the pet shop didn't mention one, anyway. <laughs> no, I don't know. How about Ted? That's a good name for a rabbit. No, I don't think that's a good idea, Dougal. You're forgetting I'm called Ted as well. <laughs> I could call you Father Ted. No. <laughs> Seriously, Dougal, you'll have to come up with something a bit more original. Hello, fathers. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> How about Mrs. Doyle? <laughs> no, Mrs. Doyle is not a good name for a rabbit. You need something like Popsy or Bruce. All right. Wait, I've got one. You see the way he's got big floppy ears there flopping all over the place? Yeah. Well, why don't we call him Father Jack Hackett? <laughs> Perfect. Father Jack it is. What? Uh, nothing, Father. Dougal's named his new rabbit after you. What? Are you all right, Father Jack? What? Uh, he's not talking to you, Father. He's talking to the rabbit. What? I think Father Jack wants a drink. Drink! Drink! Maybe we could give him water. Water! Fick! <laughs> Dougal, this is getting far too confusing. Ah, Ted, I've got used to calling him Father Jack. Could we not call Father Jack something else? <laughs> Great, what do we call him, uh, Flipper? Flipper the priest. Yes! <laughs> no, Dougal, this is not going to work. Hello, Father Ted Crilly speaking. Crilly, it's me, Bishop Brennan. Oh, feck. <laughs> what? Who is this? There is no crilly ear. <laughs> God, Dougal, I'm just have to sing feck to Bishop Brennan. Oh, he won't like that, Ted. Maybe it's all right, though. Uh, I put on a foreign voice so that you'll think you've dialed the wrong number. <laughs> crilly. Ah, hello, Bishop Brennan. <laughs> I think you got the wrong number when you called there. <laughs> Shut up, Crilly. Shut up. I'll make this quick. What would the following words suggest to you? Jack, sleepwalking, and bollock naked. <laughs> oh, no. Now, this is the third time in the last six months. You may have heard of Brian Noonan, hmm? a very important junior minister and a personal friend of mine. And I can tell you the last thing he and his family needs to see is the vision of an elderly priest wearing only a pair of socks and a hat. Now, I'll be around on Thursday to examine the security arrangements, and Crilly... Yes? If you ever try to bullshit me like that again, I will rip off your arms. <laughs> Bishop Brennan's coming over to have a word with you, Father, about your nude sleepwalking. Nude, Father Jack! <laughs> Can you think of any reason why you might be doing that, huh? You're not having any uh, doubts about your vocation, are you? What? You can always share your problems with us. Father Dougal and I will always lend you a friendly ear. Isn't that right, Dougal? Absolutely. D do you want to talk about it now? Well, Ted, uh, Biker Grove. Oh, God, yes, after Biker Grove. 